In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the drum bearing on a Porter Cable 3x21 belt sander. The drum bearing is what allows the front drum on your belt sander to rotate. When you think about how fast your sander spins, it's amazing that these bearings last as long as they do. When the bearing goes bad, you may hear a loud noise from the bearing, a squeaking noise, or you might notice that the drum just doesn't rotate easily. Fortunately, drum bearings are easy to replace, and we're going to show you how. Let's get started. We'll start by removing the sanding belt from the sander. I'll release the tension, pull the belt away, and then I'm going to reapply the tension. It just moves the front drum out a little farther, so it'll be easier to work on. Now we'll go ahead and remove the drum. It's secured with a retaining ring. I'll go ahead and pull that ring. And now we can push the shaft through the drum. So I pull the drum away, there's a couple of washers you'll want to keep track of. The bearings are pressed into the ends of the drum. Probably the easiest way to remove these if you don't have a bearing press is to just use a punch and a socket. What I'm going to do is place the drum over the top of the socket and then I'll insert the punch through the opposite end of the drum and tap the bearing out. Just take my time and work my way around the bearing. To install the new bearing, I'll just place it onto the drum, and lightly tap it in place with a hammer. Once I have it seated, I'll place a socket about the same size as the bearing over it, and then I'll tap it in the rest of the way using this setup. I'll tap it in place until the face of the bearing is just slightly proud of the face of the drum. You repeat the same process to remove and replace the bearing on the other side of the drum. Now I'll reinstall the drum back onto the sander. I'll start the shaft through the frame, replace the washer, next comes the drum. This last washer can be a little tricky. And then we'll secure the whole assembly with the retaining ring. And last, we'll reinstall the sanding belt. 